as long as you have it coming out of the column over strong link and down and you can eliminate whatever rows coming out the other way and it works vice versa you can do rows to columns cool awesome empty rectangle hey i'm glad i saw that uh, greetings friend timberlake here from smart hobbies the channel that helps you transform a passing interest into a fun and enjoyable hobby i've got a great sudoku puzzle here for you today it's a handmade classic called uh, sudoku number two by jovial uh, i found it on logic masters germany i put the link in the description below thank you so much jovial for giving me permission to feature this puzzle on my channel just looking at it real quick you can tell there's really no clumps of given digits they're all like separated um, there's quite a bit of symmetry in the outer blocks and kind of has a tic-tac-toe type feel to it and I'm kind of curious to see what it'll take to solve this one. Um, looking at Logic Masters, it had a 74%, I believe that's an approval rating, three-star difficulty. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get through this. And with that, it's, it's, it's solving. solving. Uh, okay, I will solve this by showing all the candidates doing candidate elimination. Okay, so first thing I want to look at here is if you, I'm looking here, row five, I can see there's the eights are kind of locked into block five, so I can get rid of that eight and get rid of that eight. And then I see the sixes right here are locked in to uh, block five as well, right here in column five. So I can get rid of all these other sixes. Get rid of all those sixes. Okay, I think I'm gonna look for, uh, I'm just gonna do some scanning. There's not a lot of, there's no empty naked singles to start with. So I'm kind of look around and see if I can find um, you know, some kind of hidden signal somewhere. All right, I'm looking down here in block seven. I can see a one, three, six, seven, one, seven, six, seven, one, three, six. So that here, this is a naked quad, right? And it's easier for me to see the naked quad, but what that tells me is one, three, six, seven have to be in those four spots. So I can eliminate one, three, six, and seven from the other two spots in that block. Uh, so the two, four, it was a hidden pair. It was hidden in there. I didn't see it before, but when you're eliminating candidates, it's a little easier to see some of the like, naked triples, naked quads, than it is to pull out the hidden pairs. At least that's the way I've found. Uh, okay, I'm going down here in column, excuse me, row nine, and I see a hidden single five. All right, I'm going to scan back up, up for my other fives. Okay, I got two fives here, two fives there. I can't make any more eliminations on the fives. All right. What else am I looking for here? Okay, these threes are now limited to column one, so I can get rid of that three, that three, and that three. And I'm gonna look, oh, okay. And then here in block nine, that's a hidden single three. Oh, and now it makes that a hidden single three. So I've solved a couple of those threes, that's nice. All right, clean away some of these cans. And now I, I'll show this again, it looks like I have another Naked quad, the 1789. I can see it was pretty quick. It tells me and get rid of the 178s and 9s from the rest of that block. It gives me a 3 4 pair and a 2 4 pair. So that's really it for all the 4s, uh, the I think, are going to be limited. Okay, great. All right, let me look and see if I have any more naked or hidden singles. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of scanning across. Okay, I do see that the 6s are locked in block three here in row two so that six i can eliminate so i'm going to scan across and look in to see if there's any hidden any single maybe some pairs that i can uh solve before i go to filtering the candidates okay so far i'm looking pretty good here all right i don't see anything else that i can solve right off the bat so let's go and start filtering candidates. At this point now, I'm looking for uh, you know things, shapes that I can use to start eliminating candidates here. All right, with the ones, I don't see anything right away. I'm looking for like pointing pairs, claiming pairs, maybe some empty rectangle shapes, uh, some two-string kites. Those things will kind of jump out at me, but I don't see anything with the ones just yet. With the twos, uh, you know, I see some strong links here. This two cuts across, and there's a strong link right there. But I can't use that strong, weak, strong. I can't use that to my advantage to make an elimination that I can see with the twos. Okay, let's go to the threes. 
Uh, no, nothing I can do with those threes. It's pretty quick. The fours. No, fours look good. Let's go to the fives. And you can see with these kind of shapes where there's the doubles. And, the you know, it's pretty quick to go, hey, there's not really elimination I can make there. Let's go to the sixes. And uh, I do... No, I don't have. You know, it kind of looks like an X-Wing here, but then this extra cell means you can't make that an X-Wing or an X-Wing elimination. So you always got to watch all the cells. And the same thing is I really can't do a unique rectangle here because of this extra 1-6 cell. So you gotta got to make sure and follow the constraints. All right, here are the 7s. Um, the 1-6-7 triple, yep, I see that. Very interesting display. I mean, I... I kind of like the tic-tac-toe type, but I mean, there's a lot of sevens to eliminate here, and we're not even close, so to keep an eye on those. That'll be a, a challenge of the puzzle. All right, looking at the eights, uh, I don't see any hidden naked singles. I see a couple of strong links, but I can't make any eliminations off of that. Let's go to the nines. Okay. Um, I got some nice looking shapes here. Got a couple of strong links. Got a strong link there. All right. Okay. So what I see, let's see. Oh yeah. So what I see is an empty rectangle coming out of here. So what for an empty rectangle? I did a video on that, and I'll put it uh, a link here so you can go check that out. But basically, it's a shape where you come out a column or row. In this case, I'm going to come out a column, and then you connect to a uh, strong link cannon. So the nines come out of this column. It connects strongly, it means there's only two in that row. And then if that situation happens, you can come down and eliminate whatever the row is peeking out of here. Whatever that row is, you can eliminate a nine from there. So I can eliminate a nine from right there. Why is that? Well, because if this was a nine, all those would be gone. So a nine would have to be here. So a nine can't be there. And if this was the nine, then it would be same thing. You know, if you if you had a, a nine here, because if because if that was a nine, then you would have no place to put a nine in this row. So it doesn't it wouldn't work. So you can't have a nine there either way. So as long as you have it coming out of a column, over strong link and down, and you can eliminate whatever rows coming out the other way. And it works vice versa. You could do rows of columns. Cool, awesome empty rectangle. Yeah, I'm glad I saw that. Um, and this is a valid shape for an empty rectangle because if you basically eliminate the column you'd have exactly one row left if you eliminate the row you'd have exactly one column so like right here this shape is also valid because you, if you eliminate this row you'd have one column that one right there uh, these are valid shapes as well these down here in block four those are not valid shapes because if you eliminated a, a row you'd still have two columns left if you eliminated a column you'd still have two rows left so that's not a valid shape this is a valid shape this makes valid shapes this is not a valid shape here Six. Uh, but hey, while I'm at it, let me look down here. If you come down here, this is the other strong link. Come down here and connect to that strong link. We can make another elimination with the nine. So you can eliminate the nine from right there. Excuse me. I hit the wrong thing. You can eliminate the nine, so that makes it a two. Awesome. And we made it solve right there. Okay, so if that's a two, then that's a seven. All right. And now we are making some eliminations. That's a seven. That's a one. Six seven six seven okay, six eight six nine. Uh, see if there's any other eliminations I can make. I don't see any right there. But now it looks like the nines are locked to the middle, so I can get rid of this nine and I can get rid of that nine. And then the same thing here with the seven six seven pair. I mean I can get rid of all the sixes and sevens in column five. So that get rid of that seven, get rid of that seven. And what does that do? That means now that sevens are locked in here uh, to row seven here in block. I'll get rid of that. Row seven here in block eight. So that means I can get rid of that seven. That's six. That's six. That's a seven. Uh, and then I look here at nine. Eight. I'm now I'm just looking for naked singles. Seven eight pair. Get rid of that seven. Get rid of that seven. That makes that a one. Get rid of that seven. Okay, six seven. And it looks like. We are doing really well here. Uh, here we go. So now I'm just kind of looking for some naked singles or any other things I need to make. Okay, great. Four, five, three, six. I think we've cracked this puzzle. Uh, 
And normally, I don't see empty rectangle in that shape before, like the the cross shape. Normally, it's kind of a it looks more like a just like a Tetris piece of sorts is the way I look at them. They look like a Tetris piece. Usually, they're good for empty rectangles. But hey, check out my video on that uh, to get more information on empty rectangles. But I liked this puzzle, Joey. I liked the that there really wasn't much to do until I saw that empty rectangle, and that's not a normal solving path to go. All right, how did you do? Have you looked at it before? Let me know in the comments below. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to Smart Hobbies. If you like to see these Sudoku handmade classics, uh, and if you're a setter, you want me to feature on my channel, reach out to me. I'm on the Discord server, Timberlake. I'd be happy to do that. I'm always looking for new, exciting puzzles. Right now, I'm just doing classics. Um, so thank you so much for watching.